increase the level of your giving. This is what I'm going to teach you. I know only 100 people will take it, but those 100, God will bless you. If you see you are stuck financially, give more. If you see you are giving, you are giving, you are giving, you don't complain. You are not in that part of complaining, eh? but you still give and nothing happens. That means in heaven, heaven is telling you, you haven't given enough. So let me tell you, eh? I will say, man of God, you say if you give and you speak a negative word, God does not bless you. But to me, I've never spoken anything bad. I've never spoken anything bad to my church, embassy of God. I've never even spoken anything bad to God. So why I'm not blessed? My second answer is, you have not given enough. Now, what is enough? Enough is not what you are counting. Because some people can say, me, till now, I've given 50 million. To you, it can be enough. Let me tell you, according to the blessing that God wants to bless you, that may not be enough. One thing, prophetically, I'm teaching this prophetically. Her giving, when it will reach enough, when you say it is enough, and his giving is enough and her enough are not equal. Don't imitate from other person. Somebody can give one million and God can bless him of everything. That is his enough. So you, you want to come, I say, when you give a million, I want to be like Esther. No, that is enough for Esther. According to God's measure, your measure is not somebody's measure. So deal with your own. Carry your cross. Don't carry my cross. God can tell me my enough must be two years of money and your enough can be thousands. So don't compare yourself with me. So when you see you are not blessed, that means the heaven is simply telling you, you have not given enough. And enough is not valued by what you give daily. I gave this, I gave chair, I bought pickers, I did this. That cannot be enough in heaven. Can it be enough to you? The heaven may want more than that, that one. May even require your house. Jesus wants to bless a certain man. You know what he told him? He said, you, if you want to be blessed, you, not everyone. That teaching is not for everyone. It was for him. He said, you, if you want to be blessed, sell everything you have and follow me. So that guy was supposed to sell everything. And God told Abraham, if you want me to bless, kill your son. That was is enough. Don't tell me you have given enough. Do you know you're enough? Before Abraham gave Isaac, he was giving another sacrifice. He was offering sacrifice on the mountain. Oh, when yes. he said, I, I want to keep sacrifice my son. Before he took that action, he was already gave a lot of sacrifice. Oh, but yes. it was not enough to God. Can I ask you a question? Did God tell Elijah to kill the son? No. Did God tell Peter to kill the son? No. So Peter cannot compare himself to Abraham. Oh, yes. What did Jesus told Peter? He said, can you give me your boat? That was the only giving. Peter gave only boat and he was blessed. But when it came to Abraham, God said, no, the boat is not enough. Your cows are not enough. Do you remember when the angels visited the house of Abraham? Do you know Abraham slaughtered a lot of cows? Yes, yes. God is saying, that is not enough. If it is you, you give hundreds of cows. You say, I've been giving, but God has not blessed me. God, he was giving everything. God said, no, no, no. If you want me to make you a father of nations, that cannot value father of this nation. Oh, yes. You need to give something worthy. And Abraham said, what is that? Can I give you another cow? Another hundred cows? I don't need a cow anymore. Your cow are nothing to me. You can be giving for years, but to God is nothing. Oh, yes. People are quiet. Oh, yes. And God told Abraham, if you want me to make you a father of nations, now I need your son. Oh, yes. So that was enough for who? And somebody is here. You know me, I've given this. When your apostle came, I contributed. When the major one came, I even support the prophetic channel. I even support the DD. I did this. For you, it is enough. But one day, go and ask God. What he gave is enough. You will be surprised God to tell you what you gave is nothing. Oh, yes. Everyone has got his own measure. Oh, a yes. own measure. Oh, yes. Your measure may be small to God. And to you, you may be say it is big. So some people are complaining, they say, okay, man of God, me, I gave, I didn't complain, it's true. I didn't say any negative word, it's true. But my question number two, okay, you didn't complain, you are, you are waiting for a blessing. But the blessing does not come. Though you didn't complain, comment anything bad, but let me tell you, if you see you have not been blessed for what you are giving, the heaven is telling you, give more. Oh, yes. You know, I gave my focus. Yes, the heaven is demanding even your plot. Some people will never be blessed till you give everything. Like who? Like that man when Jesus said, sell everything and follow me. Your blessing is in selling everything. Some people, their blessing is in giving only an apple. Some people can give only an apple in church or two eggs. Oh, their yes. life will open. Oh, yes. But that is that not mean it's for you. Is it for her? A lot of people complain now. Yo, me, I know, I know one woman in my church. I know one woman. That woman came broke. He just gave three eggs to, to Pastor Amos. 
only three eggs and me I gave more than eggs why God does not remember me no don't compare yourself with that one oh yes to her that is enough oh yes but to you that's not enough oh, you yes. need to add somebody you need to oh, add something yes to her preach it man of God so I need somebody to give enough and I don't know what is enough you keep giving till God is saying hey oh yes so you see God does not bless somebody because you gave no it's because you gave enough in other word, in biblical word, God will bless you the, the day you will give an overflow. There is a scripture in the Bible. People have been misinterpreting it. It's not even like that. And because of that, it can make members not to give. That scripture is not like that. I will teach you. So one reason why are you not blessed, you have not given enough. enough. Do you understand my point now? Oh, yes. In, in physical, you can say, ah, oh, yeah, you gave, uh, you gave that to be big, that is a big offering, that's too much. Hey. Why are you not blessed? There is a demon somewhere. There is no demon. A demon can resist you from giving. Can tell you don't give. But after you give, the demon is not there. Can I tell you the truth? That's why those people who are not even born again, eh? they are drunkard. Oh, yes. They go to witch doctors. Oh, yes. They do everything. Oh, yes. The moment they help poor people, God protect them. Oh, yes. devil, even death has no power to a person who gives. Do you know that the Bible says, love has got power more than death. So giving is what? There are bad people in the community. You, you even pray for them to die. They don't die. You even fast the father. Fire. Fire. Yeah, 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 yo. The more you send the fire, the more they buy another car. Do you know why those people are not dying? Do you know why? They give. Every day they go to orphanage and you don't go there. You just send the fire and it backfire to you. Giving is act of love. Because giving touches the heart. Oh, yes. For God loves the world and he gave. So love goes with giving. So because of those people, they are evil, they are humanized, they are doing everything evil. But they don't die. They survive. They are well else. They are doing everything good. And you say, God, kill them. They don't die. Because of that giving. And they are giving enough. You, you, you don't give enough. You speak in tongue. You know, on your phone, you can put a, a, a loud call eh? or vibration. There are some people, they can speak in tongue. Rush out to When they are tired, they put a vibration. <laughs> But they are broke. A devil does not fear a tongue. Let me tell you, one thing I've discovered a devil fears most is giving. One day I asked you a question. I was teaching uh, pastors. What saved us? Is it a blood or love? They said the blood. The blood did not save us. The blood washed us. What saved us is love. The Bible does not say God loved the world so that he gave blood. No. He gave his son. Eh? Jesus came. Not because there was blood there. That was not blood. Came because of, there was love. So even a devil knows if you are a giver, within a gift there is protection. Oh, yes. A devil cannot touch a giver, but a devil can kill a prayer, a prayer person. Intercessors are the ones who are broke. Intercessors, they are sick. They intercede and they are sick. I'm sorry, I must say this. I have a church too. And I don't know what comes. If a person starts praying, automatically he stops giving. I don't know why. Because the devil knows if you can give and still pray, you'll be more dangerous. So just know from today, I've given you elevation. If we say, you don't say it is that. I've been giving. I don't see a breakthrough. No promotion. Why? What is happening? You have not given enough. What is enough? Write it down. What is enough? Enough is when you see that. Now, no, it's enough. I can't tell you enough is five billion. No, I will be lying to you. Because everyone has got his own or her own enough. Someone will give 100,000. Everything. Pop, pop, pop. But to you, you will give a million still. It's not that God does not love you. You are enough is not there. Which means the more you give, if somebody can be blessed for 1,000 and you be blessed for a million, you are, you are better than that one. If God is waiting to bless you because he wants you to reach somewhere, which means God has accumulated a lot for you and you don't reach there, a devil is telling you don't give anymore. Keep giving. And one secret is like this. When I say this group give today, and tomorrow I call another group, you who gave today, join that group again. Don't say I gave yesterday, you are limiting yourself. Oh, yes. Okay, can you have a bottle and water? Give me empty bottle and water somewhere. Mm, let me show you. Uh -huh. You see this? This is a measure of your giving. And some people, they have got bigger than this one and they don't know in the spirit. Okay, let us say this is your measure. God want, to feel, want you to feel this so that you can be blessed. Now, you, you give. You give again. You give again. You give again. You say, let me increase it. You say, ha, ah, this time around, I'm waiting. You say, now I'm waiting for the result. You say, let me try again. I will sell the house. I will sell my plot. I will sell my car. Hey, I think it is enough. 
But where is, where is the water? So the heaven is telling you, okay, come on, come on, come on, do it again, do it. They want you to feed the bottle. Am I talking to somebody here? And everyone has got is uh, your own measure, and you don't know your measure. You are not even a prophet. You don't even a f- see a fly. And you say, is it enough? Are you sure? Let me give you another example. Do you see this one? This can be a measure and a content of someone. Because they have got literal blessing. You know we have designed it differently. Some people, their blessing have to be like this one. These are those people who give 500 Uganda shilling. And after they give, tomorrow, they have a, a breakthrough of a job. And they are so happy. Hallelujah. Yesterday, Pastor Amos said we must give 1,000. I gave 1,000. Only 1,000, you can't imagine. Hey, yeah, yeah. Only 1,000. After I gave that one, I opened my phone to my surprise. Where I submitted my application, they called me and now I'm working there. How much? 1,000. That note, here's our blessing. is like this. And people will be admiring that one. Hey, he gave only 1,000. He gave and everything is open. Listen, this one is a very small blessing. For you who you want to, who want to become a president, for you who want to become a millionaire, God will never bless you because of 1,000. Never! Now you keep giving. You say, oh, let me give again. Here you say, I'm not going to church again. And the heaven is waiting. Hey, he's not going to church. And heaven does not delete your giving. Even if you speak a negative, they don't delete. They wait for you to confess and to continue. You say, oh, I left the church. I'm going back. Man of God, sorry. You know, I've been in this church. But I, God has been telling me I must come back. And when you come, you hear, hey, there is a, a contribution. You need to give. Can you give two million? Ah, no problem. We give. The moment you give two million now, ah, ta. And from that moment, you know what God does? God does not take your money to use your money. He takes your money to invest for you. The moment you feel you are your container, now God brings them back to you. Receive it whatever you are. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it, somebody. Tell your neighbor, fill your container. Read this scripture for me. One, two, three. Read it together. Eh? A good word. There is a measure. Now, number one, you might want to say, ah, there is a measure. That measure must be pressed down, hmm? shaken together. Running over. Uh-huh. Now, right number one. In that measure, it must be pressed down. Number two, it must be shaken together. Number three, then it will run over. The moment you see it will run over, that's the time for you to reap. Men of God have been teaching, give. This is the wrong teaching now. Men of God have been teaching, give. When you give, even if you give retro, in return, that's how they teach. And it is the wrong doctrine. Give. Even if you give small, but in return, it will be pressed down, shaken together, run over. That is a wrong doctrine. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure. Uh-huh. In that measure, it has to be pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured onto your lap. For with measure you use. Uh-huh. For with, with measure use, which measure? Me, measure? The measure that is pressed down. The same measure. Oh, yes. So we have to ask yourself, which measure? Bible say, for with the measure you use. Oh, yes. For another mean the same measure. Oh, yes. For with the measure you use, it will be, it will be given to you. Good measure. But when you are measuring it, make sure it is pressed down. Number one. And make sure you shake it together. Oh, yes. And make sure... At the end, it will it, it have to run over. It will be poured into your lap. Which will be poured to me? What is pressed press down. down? What is shaken together? And what is running over? It will be put under my feet. Eh? Oh, yes. It will be given unto you. Eh? Oh, yes. Now, it comes number two. For with measure you use, it will be measured to you. Oh, yes. Which measure? Which is pressed down? Shaken together. together. Running 
over. So with the day you will fill your jar, your container to run over, the day people will give back to you. Oh, yes. What is saying is the same, which is the same. The same you receive must be the same you give. But another thing that is there that you cannot see it, you have to sit in another scripture. Is a scripture say hundred falls, which means you you have to shake it first, press it, run over, give to God. When it is running over, it will come to in the same, but now it will be given in a hundred now. So God will not give you before it is running over. No, here I cannot press down because something to press down is like when you are measuring maize in the sack, eh? you press down. Eh? So I can I cannot press water anyway. You know those those farmers, you, you understand. When you are putting maize in this in the sacks, eh? You put them, you press and you shake. So that it can be well filled. And you put again, when it will, it will run over, you stop. And you keep. Now see. If you give, eh? You are in this level, eh? You can give up to this point. Okay? Eh? You see? You will not have blessing. Why? It is not running over. So you need to increase something. The day you increase, the heaven will know. When it run over, I say, now, hey, Magdalena. Now, an angel, go to Magdalena. Go, go, go. Her cup is running over. Go. You'll be surprised. This thing is going. This door is open. Your, your job, promotion. Your daughter are getting married. I don't have some, anything to teach again. That is my revelation today. Do you want things to change in your life? I said number one yesterday, learn to pray. Number two, increase your level of what? Okay. Which means you are, you are not there yet. Don't complain. Don't do that again. God cannot lie. He's not a man. If we say, if you give, I will bless you. Why are you not blessed? You have not reached your level. And everyone has got his or her own level. So when you are giving, and you don't see that, you say, ah, no, it's not there. I will add again. This time, I will give this. I'm going to give on, on an orphanage. You are going to visit orphanage and give. You are going to your neighbors to ask. Those neighbors who don't have clothes, you are going to give. What you want is to fill your measure. Oh, yes. In New Living Translation, they say, when you are giving, everyone has got his or own room. Your room is very small. And some of your room are big. I don't want to give like Janet. Janet, her room is very small. She has filled it already. There are some people we are trying to give big. New Living Translation. Okay, one, two, three. Give. Uh -huh. Give and you The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Now, if you want to ask a question, which amount you go there? So when you keep giving, uh -huh, in every they are making more room, which means the room has to be extended, bigger. Oh, yes. Let me encourage you. Everyone who has been giving, you don't see the result. You are a billionaire. Oh, yes. If you have been giving, see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you have been planting, Oh, yes. If you have been sponsoring gospel and you don't see the result, you're a billionaire. How do you say? Ask me how. How? Because that one is making more room. That's why, that's why, that's why you have not never seen any result. Oh, yes. They are still building more room. Number one, you will be given all that you gave back times hard. I have got people here. If you ask, you want to be a billionaire? Yes. But if you can create what you give since you started, it's only maybe two million. If God can give you back even times hundred, can you be a millionaire? Can you be a millionaire of two hundred? Of two million? Some people, since they gave in this church, it's only five million. Some, some people, half million. Some people, two hundred thousand. Some people, hundred thousand. Some people, since they, they came here, it's twenty thousand. Some people, since they came here, it's only 10,000. And you want God to give you back and times 100. I, you are you're still poor. Because what God does, He will give you the same measure, but times. Can you become a millionaire? My brother, if these people will take this liberation and fill their rooms, fill their rooms, extend their rooms, huh? the day God will give back, eh? oh, yes. you are not going to have any place to park cars here. Oh, yes. Ask yourself, what you gave can make can it make you millionaire? If God can bring it back to you and times 
hundred can make you be on air. You are still broke and you are complaining. I need it. I need God to bless you. God is saying, you want it? Sometimes you complain too much. He will give you back. You will rejoice for two months. It is done. It is finished. Oh, yes. Why can't you wait for, for a bigger room? And how to make a big room is to give more. I'm talking to 100 members here. Oh, yes. Who are going to take my revelation? Oh, yes. In two actions. Oh, yes. You will see. You will see. I, I promise you. I promise you. I you will never lack. I you will never be poor. I you will never beg. I the day I knew this revelation, eh? me, whenever I give, I say, God, no, no, don't give back. Wait. That's how we pray. I don't pray like you. I'm not a kid in the spirit. I don't pray, God give me, me, I don't pray a prayer of give me, I have stopped sort prayer. I pray a prayer, God give me more to give, not to receive. Oh yes. Enable me to have, clear a way for me to have, so that I cannot eat, not to eat, to, to give. The Bible say, God he give bread to the eater and he give seed to the sower. Oh yes. Desire to be a sower, not an eater. Some people are receiving what is called a daily bread for you not to die. God is just give you something so that you can, you can survive. But some of us, we don't need something to survive. No. We need something to sow. Oh, yes. So we can make our room more bigger. The day God will pour our blessing. Even our father-in-law, we respect us. Even your enemy, we call you friend. You people, say your plots. If you read the book of Acts of Apostles, you can see how, how those people did. And you can see how God blessed them. Me, I'm surprised in that, in that scripture. The Bible says they sold everything they have, they brought in church. And the, the full scripture is say, no one lacked. Uh -uh. So I sold everything and I, I didn't lack. What's happening here? They say they sold everything they brought where? To church. And no one lacked. This is different to you nowadays. The way you think you will give everything you lack. It's different to the Bible. They gave everything and the Bible said, no one lacked us. I promise you, go and do what I taught you. This will help you. Don't complain when you give. Don't think negatively. And number two, increase. Increase. Oh, yes. Do it. Don't say, ah, yeah. don't count. Don't, don't, don't mention. Don't look back. Look back is like when you start to say, I did this. I did this. Don't do that. Continue. When you give today and don't see this, ah, just know in your mind, uh -huh, my measure is, is big. Give again. When well, you don't see that, my room is big. Give again. Can I see your hand? Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for this teaching. Thank you for this teaching. From now onward. From now onward. I will be a giver. I will be a giver. I will give. I will give. Till I fill my room. I fill my because room. I know I have a big room. Because I More than my neighbor. More than my neighbor. So when my neighbor is testifying. So that God has blessed him. Because of the giving. I will know my room is not yet filled. I need to fill it. I will give more. I will give more. I will increase the level of giving. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Help me. Can you hear a voice of Amen? Amen.